Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to start with the most important topic in quantitative aptitude that is geometry. Okay. Now, one important thing in geometry is this, that geometry is the only chapter in quantitative aptitude that needs a lot and lot of practice. So, before doing geometry, there must be one thing that should be there in your mind that you need to practice a lot in geometry. Geometry is neither difficult nor easy. It's just that by practicing geometry, you can achieve professional level in geometry. So do practice a lot in geometry. So let's start with geometry. First thing is line and angle. What is line and what is angle? See line. This is a line which has no end. A line is something which is infinite. Now, if I bound this line by points A and B, this AB now is a line segment. We call it a line segment. So I can say that line is something which is infinite, but line segment is a finite thing. And what is angle? Angle is exactly a thing which is being formed by two lines. Like this. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. This is also an angle. And this total angle equals to 360 degrees. Okay. So let's start with the first property and the most basic property in geometry is this. Let's take two intersecting lines. Two intersecting lines. This is line one. This is line two. L1 and L2 are intersecting each other. So first property is this. If this is angle X, this is also angle X. Okay. This is X. This is also X. And if this is Y, then this is also Y. So first property is this. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, next property. Suppose there is a line, any line. If this angle is X and this angle is Y, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degree. The total angle on one side of a line is equal to 180 degree always. So these are the first two properties and the most basic properties. Now, let's move on to the parallel lines. See, L1 is parallel to L2. What do you mean by parallel lines? Parallel lines are those lines which never intersect each other. These two lines, L1 and L2 are not going to intersect each other. And there is one more line, L3, which is intersecting with L1 and L2 both. Okay, let's take this angle to be 1, this angle to be 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, by using vertically opposite angle property, can I say that angle 1 is equal to angle 3? Angle 2 is equal to angle 4 because L3 and L1 are intersecting and L3 and L2 are also intersecting. In similar on similar way, angle 6 is equal to angle 8 and angle 5 is equal to angle 7. Now see, L1 and L2 are parallel. Can I say that angle 1 is definitely equal to angle 5? So angle 1 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 5 is equal to angle 7. Okay, angle 1, 3, 5 and 7 all are equal. Sim similarly, can I say that angle 2 is equal to angle 6? So angle 2 
is equal to angle 4, is equal to angle 6, is equal to angle 8. Can I say that 1, 3, 5, and 7, these all angles are equal to each other. And remaining 2, 4, 6, and 8 are equal. Okay? And angle 1 plus angle 2 is what? By using the property which we did in the previous slide. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree. Okay? So let's do a question based on this concept. Question is this. Just pause the video and try to find out, try to answer this question. Okay. Can I say that angle 1, angle 1 equals to angle 3 equals to 6 equals to 7. Similarly, angle 2 is equal to angle 4 is equal to angle 5 is equal to angle 8. Can I say that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree? Yes. As we know that angle 2 is equal to angle 8, so I can write it as angle 1 plus angle 8 is equal to 180 degree. Okay, now we know that angle 8 is 3 by 2 times angle 1. So let's put the value. Angle 1 plus 3 by 2 times angle 1 is equal to 180 degree. This is equal to 5 by 2 angle 1, 180 degree. Angle 1 comes out to be 72 degree and by putting the value angle 8 comes out to be 108 degrees. Now, angle 6. Can I say that angle 6 is equal to angle 1? So, angle 6 is equal to angle 1 is equal to 72 degrees. So, I can say that angle C is equal to 72 degrees. This is the answer. Okay.